but I'm gonna do it. I'm, do, I'm gonna go through this for you because I love you guys. All right, who knows how much this is gonna hurt, but we're gonna be doing it. All right, this is chocolate. Yeah, there's a lot of chocolate about to be happening on the channel, so if you guys like chocolate and spicy chocolate, buckle in, because I got, this is from Late for Work, uh, YouTube channel, great people. I don't have any in front of me, but a spicy trail mix they sent to me, it was a pizza flavored one, and then there was like a normal one. Amazing trail mix, super good. These are their chocolates, these are their, I don't know how hot these are, but we're going from like mild to pretty freaking hot. And then they got a challenge, it's back there, I gotta send it to my buddy Jake. Jake, I'm sorry, I've been sucking at getting it out to you. But they have a challenge product they've been doing, and then also, freaking, where is it, right there, are bites. Bites two times. They're from Roger, Hot Dang Show. That's gonna be coming out on the channel next Wednesday, so a week from today. I haven't filmed that video yet, but I'm terrified of them because they have a lot of powder in them. And I've been putting it off, and it's coming. Okay, let's jump into this. Okay, late for work. They have three different chocolates. Uh, two of them I think I'm looking forward to, one of them I'm absolutely not looking forward to, and that's just because I'm me. Milk chocolate mint with habanero. I am not going to like this. I don't like mint. I hate artificial mint. Um, this is gonna be a mint flavored one. I'm gonna do my best to describe the flavors to you in the heat, but I'm not a mint guy, but I'm gonna do it. I'm, do I'm gonna go through this for you, because I love you guys. And then we've got pumpkin spice with Carolina Reaper. Well, that's the last one. We got peanut butter chocolate with ghost pepper. This is right up my alley. Ghost pepper is my favorite freaking hot, super hot. And peanut butter chocolate, can't go wrong there. Pumpkin spice, how seasonal of you. And uh, the Carolina Reaper, how much Reaper? Don't know, about to find out. Okay. So we've got a one out, of, okay, so there's, they, got them, they got the heat scale circle on here. We got, this is a one, and then we got a two, and then we got a three. We don't have the four. I'm assuming the four is in their challenge over there. Anyways, let's get through this freaking mint. Maybe I'll like it. Probably won't, but maybe I will. It smells like mint the second that I open this. Uh, and that's just a me. It's a, it's a me problem, not a chocolate problem. I'm sure the chocolate is wonderful. Everything I've had from them has been fantastic. This is a, these are big pieces of chocolate. I will say, now that I've opened this, I am committed to this. There's no, you can't like reseal it, even though who, I mean. Well, it's cool design. I will say, cool design on it. You snap them off, like, they gonna come off in good pieces? Yeah, they are. Uh, natural flavors and hot and arrow pepper are the two last ingredients. Are they done by weight? I'm not sure. I do know that they're FDA approved over there, so they're doing things um, correct over there. So I'm assuming it is by weight, so habanero should be the last ingredient on here. Let's see how hot this is. Very minty. You like mint. Okay, we got through it. Um, extraordinarily mild. There is, um, I am detecting heat. It's coming a little late, believe it or not, which is kind of interesting to me. Um, very mild, I'm gonna call this a one on my heat scale, and I'm saying a one that's a rounded up one. This is definitely like a very intro product. This is not intended to be like super spicy in any way, shape, or form. Um, this is going to be like a very, it's actually building a little bit. If I were to like enjoyed it a little bit more, I'm talking about like, like you know, had it kept it in my mouth, sucked on it for a while, that kind of thing, then I probably would be getting a little bit more heat, but I kind of chewed it up and got it down as fast as I possibly could, because again, the mint thing. Um, it's really tasty chuck. we're moving on. Uh, peanut butter chocolate with ghost peppers. Let's cleanse the palate. This one should be amazing. This is everything I love. Um, you know what would be awesome in this? I say this every time with snack with snacks. A little bit of salt. Huge kernels of salt on top of this would be like. Or some little crunchy bits. Ooh! Like for peanut butter chocolate with ghost with uh, what what do you mean peanut butter chocolate? What is peanut butter chocolate? Partially defatted peanut butter flour. Whey powder. Uh, salt, ghost pepper, and ghost pepper. Salt and then ghost pepper. There's salt in here! And then ghost pepper is the last ingredient. Um, interesting. I don't know how they made this. I'm not a chocolate expert. Um, I am a taste things and tell you what I think about it expert to myself. Anyways, so this is a, a two out of four on their heat scale, and this is going to be the peanut butter and ghost pepper. It looks like that. I burped up artificial mint. 
It's got peanut butter flavor to it. It's a little bit lighter on the peanut butter. Um, I'm, I'm getting just a hint of that salt. And the ghost pepper is coming in on the back of my throat. Very, very mild yet again. Not a lot of ghost pepper happening in any way, shape, or form. But I don't think any of these chocolates are meant to like kind of rock you. I wish I could seal the bag again. Hits. Um, this one hits more like a ghost pepper than the habanero hit like the habanero. Um, the habanero was a, like a subtle burn that kind of hit, like believe it or not, kind of hit the back of the throat. And, and ghost peppers, or, or habaneros normally hit the tongue. That one didn't hit the tongue. That one was like a, it's, there's so little habanero in that first one that it, it didn't register like a habanero did, even though there is actually habanero pepper in there. Um, this one hits like a Carolina Reaper. It's the back of the throat. Um, extremely indicative of like how a, a um, I keep wanting to say Carolina Reaper, on how a ghost pepper hits. Um, there's just not a lot of it. So this is still like hitting a one for me on the heat scale, um, but still, but this is, uh, much preferred in the flavor than the first one. Just be, that's, like again, that's just because I'm not like a mint guy. Um, peanut butter, ghost pepper, delicious. Um, lighter on the peanut butter flavor. Moving on, pumpkin spice chocolate. What is pumpkin spice chocolate? Chocolate with pumpkin spices in it. This is a three out of four. Um, this has got the Carolina Reaper. It's got the Carolina Reaper in it. Uh, Carolina Reaper is going to be. Whoa. Uh -oh. Higher on the list somewhere? Carolina Reaper's not listed on the ingredients. Am I missing it? With Carolina Reaper. Carolina Reaper is not listed on the ingredients. I'm assuming it's gonna be the last ingredient like the other ones. Um, okay, so it's extremely pumpkin spicy. It smells like a pumpkin spice candle. I mean that in a good way. Um, the fact that there's no Carolina Reaper on the list of ingredients either terrifies me or um, I don't I don't know I'm, I'm afraid. Let's see what happens. This is what it looks like, right there. Soft, sweet, pumpkin spicy. I definitely got Reaper in it. And definitely the hottest out of all of them. Mm. Now we're talking on some heat. It's growing. Reapers are creepers. They take a second to come in. And they always creep right down my throat, right into my guts. So um, the heat on this, this is hitting exactly like a Carolina Reaper hits. Back of the throat, reaches down, a little bit of whiskey chest, feels into my stomach every single time. Doesn't change, doesn't matter the amount. Um, of Carolina Reaper. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna cramp off of this, but I can but I can always feel it throughout my whole body. I don't know, it's just the way that I react to Carolina Reapers. They just don't like me. Um, this has got a good burn to it. This, um, this has got my favorite burn. Um, this is still below my comfort realm. Like, I'm not out of my comfort zone in any way, shape, or form. I, I can take a lot more heat, um, but at the same time, like, I feel the heat, I appreciate the heat. Um, if you're sensitive to spicy foods, if you don't have a very high tolerance, and I'm not saying my tolerance is high at all, I'm just saying that like this would be very hot, very hot to a person who just has a lower tolerance. These two would be approachable to people that have a lower tolerance. This is going to actually kind of get to you a little bit. Um, I'm going to say it's a two on my heat scale, um, a very very high two, but I'm not going to put it into a three, but a very very high two. Um, I really enjoy the heat from this. I really enjoy the flavor of. The, the pumpkin spice one, it's got a great pumpkin spice flavor. It's soft, it's sweet. Um, the peanut butter one is my favorite on the um, deliciousness scale. Uh, I'm just a peanut butter guy. Ghost pepper is my favorite hot, my, it's my favorite super hot. Um, I could go for the amount of ghost pepper that is the reaper in this. So double, triple the amount of ghost pepper in this and I'm probably gonna be loving life. And this is executed very well. I'm just not a mint person, and mint is so strong, and it is definitely strong in this. If you like mint, this is gonna be the one for you. So, okay, Late for Work, uh, great YouTube channel. Definitely go and check them out. Check out their store, they make some great products. Um, these are the second products that I've had from them, and I have been very impressed. Um, 
they are working really hard over there to make really high quality spicy snacks for people and I think that they're doing a really good job. So please go support them. Um, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.